Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 7, verses 1 to 9. The world hates if you testify to its evil. After these things, Jesus was walking in Galilee, for he was unwilling to walk in Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him. Now the feast of the Jews, the feast of Booths, was near. Therefore his brother said to him, Leave here and go into Judea, so that your disciples also may see your works which you are doing. For no one does anything in secret when he himself seeks to be known publicly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers were believing in him. So Jesus said to them, my time is not yet here, but your time is always opportune. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify to it that its deeds are evil. Go up to the feast yourselves. I do not go up to this feast because my time has not yet fully come. Having said these things to them, he stayed in Galilee. John 7, 1-9. In this account, we saw Jesus avoiding the Jews wanting to kill him. How can the Son of Man be afraid of these leaders? When he avoided them, it doesn't mean he was afraid. It just meant that he does not do impulsive things, but always consults his Father and ensures that nothing he does will interfere with the fulfillment of the will of God. The Jews were telling Jesus to leave and go to Judea so that the other disciples may see the works he is doing. They think that Jesus thought like them, wanting all the attention and honor. They are actually suggesting to Jesus things that they themselves clamor for, such as recognition by the public. Jesus humbly answers them in verse 6 that it, his time hasn't come yet. How many of us think and act in line with God? God's will and God's timing. Jesus was following the Spirit of God even though he himself had all the powers that God and the Holy Spirit have. He expounds in verse 7 that the world cannot reject them if they do what they want, but he will confront evil himself. So the reactions of the people for him will be very different, but he will. Uh, but it would be for those who actually propagates wickedness. The Lord replies to the suggestion very differently from how humans would respond. In verse eight, he says that he will abstain from being in the feasts as he won't dishonor the timing of his father. After telling them this truth, he remained in Galilee. What an amazing wise person Jesus was during the time he was here on earth. He never operated on his own, but ensured that he wasn't messing up any of the plans of God. Do we even consult God's spirit in making small or big decisions? Do we always act in behalf of God the Father like Jesus did? These verses tell us how believers need to isolate themselves from evil ways of the world. Reflection. Why do unbelievers hate to be told about their wickedness? Well, in John 1, it explains that light and darkness cannot be together. So when we have the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives, we are shown light. We have life, we have light in Jesus. So when you have not become a believer, you still are in the dark. So when you're in the dark, you are still doing evil stuff and you are still uh, following your flesh, your desires, you're serving yourself, you're not serving God. So when you are with the world, you are an unbeliever. And when you're an unbeliever and you live for the world, um, you would hate to be told that you are wrong. So only in God's spirit can you learn humility. Only in God's spirit can you learn to consult God. Because then you know that uh, you are not, your life is not your own. It's someone else's. It's God's who has given us the life. So when, be careful when you see an unbeliever 
who acts like a, a who is I'm sorry be careful when you see a believer who acts like an unbeliever because there is something wrong if an unbeliever is um, not hating evil because if you're a believer you would hate what Jesus hate if you're a believer you would not live in darkness you will not hide sin you will confront it and you will confess it and repent of it and ask for forgiveness if you are unbeliever you wouldn't care about these things so you'd like to continue serving yourself so when you be, make yourself a god you are actually competing with with the Lord Jesus Christ and God a Father but of course if you're a believer if you're an unbeliever you would not know that so I encourage you all believers live what you believe follow the word worship God in truth and in spirit and um, you will have that boldness to expose evil because that's what the Bible says we need to expose evil so that the light can shine on them um, and we don't need to participate in any evil act because we are sanctified we are separate from unbelievers and God has made that when we become Christians and he has given his spirit to live in our hearts thanks for watching I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord thanks for watching stay safe God loves you so much and so do I